In this video, we'll talk about the CAD basics and also the coordinate system. CAD stands for Computer Aided Drafting. Drafting is creating an accurate drawing of an object. Accurate digital drawings are needed to program a CNC. We can either edit a drawing that was supplied from a digital template system or we can draw it by hand using the commands as shown. Dimensions are entered through a coordinate system. We will only need to use the X and Y directions. The X direction is horizontal and the Y direction is vertical. A coordinate is an X and Y value specifying a point or a location. X0 and Y0 is a coordinate. X0, Y0 also represents the lower left-hand corner of our machine's table. From the zero location towards the middle of the table is a positive direction. We will be using the positive quadrant or the positive side of the coordinates so that the parts will be on our machine's table. I'll use a piece of graph paper for a better visual of coordinates. I've labeled positive increments in the X positive direction and also labeled Y positive increments in the Y direction. I'm going to set this box of fettuccine somewhere within the X and Y positive of my graph paper. I'll trace it out so we can identify the coordinates and then eventually turn it into a CAD or digital drawing. To do so, we'll need to identify the four corners as X and Y coordinates. Starting with the X, we'll identify or count how far away it is from the zero location. X is four. Then we'll do the same in the Y direction, counting how far away from the zero location. Y is 3. So the lower left coordinates for our rectangle are X4, Y3. Next we'll identify the coordinates for the bottom right corner of our rectangle. Counting over in the X, we get up to 20. So X will be 20. And now counting up in the Y, we see that Y is 3. This corner is X20, Y3. Now, the top right corner, if we start at the Y3 and go up 4 more, that would be Y7. But we always do the X first, which is still at 20. So the coordinate for this corner would be X20, Y7. So, what would the X and Y coordinates be for the top left corner of our rectangle? X4, Y7 would be the correct answer. These coordinates can now be used in our CAD system to create a digital drawing. To draw a rectangle, in AlphaCam, we will need the coordinates of two opposite corners. For this example, I'm going to use the coordinates of the bottom left corner and the top right corner. In AlphaCam, we also have an X0 and Y0 location, which all of our coordinates will refer to. We'll instruct AlphaCam to draw a rectangle by clicking on the rectangle icon. Then we'll follow the prompts on the command line at the bottom of the screen to complete the process. The command line is a very important tool in CAD. It shows that we've chosen to draw a rectangle and it's guiding us along through the process. The coordinates for the first corner are X4, Y3. So I'll type 4 and press the Enter key 
for the x value, and then I'll type 3 and press enter for the y. Now it is asking for the coordinates for the second corner. This opposite corner uses x20 and y7. So we can type in 20 and enter for the x, and then 7 and enter for the y. So here we were able to go from a simple object into a digital CAD drawing. Now this drawing can be used to apply tooling information to the proper edges, which will then convert into a program for our CNC. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks. <laughs>